Hello everybody and welcome back to another review here on Jurassic Collectibles. So today we are taking a look at a really really special item, the Savage Strike Saw Repelter from the Mattel Primal Attack line. Now this figure is incredibly rare, uh, but my good friend Dusty and her son Ezra sent this one over to me to take a look at here on the channel. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. They just threw it into a pre-existing package and you can see this is a gorgeous ankylosaurid. So bringing the saw repelter packaging closer to the camera, you can see we have got a nice little render of it there. We have of course got Owen and Blue as we do on all of the Primal Attack packaging. Jurassic World. The back of the packaging where you can see a better look at the saw repelter and its swinging action. And also the Tapajara, uh, Blue and Charlie. And then on this side, again a Jurassic World logo. So Jurassic World logo on both sides for this packaging. And all of the necessary legal information on the underside there. So this figure looks gorgeous in the packaging. I really, really do like the Primal Attack um, packaging when it comes to Savage Strike figures. I think that the fence backdrop here looks gorgeous and it is very, very hard to get these out of the packaging. But with that said, we are going to do it. We are going to just cut in here, cut here, and then slide the figure's leg out, I believe. Oh, we may just need to cut down here as well. There we go. So, bringing the Sora Pelter back into the shot, you can see that this is a gorgeous, smaller scale Ankylosaurid. There we go. So, this is a really, really lovely figure. Has a very, very unique profile. Uh, obviously, it is similar to the Ankylosaurus, but is a lot smaller, and the colour scheme here is a lot more distinctive, in my opinion. So, the main thing to note with this dinosaur is the extrusions it has coming from its back. Now, these are almost like the horns on a Triceratops, but obviously, instead of being on the figure's head, they are coming from its back, and they gradually scale down smaller into the figure's front here. So, in terms of the actual paleontology of the Saw Repelter, I'm not too sure about that dinosaur, uh, but I would imagine that these were either used as a form of mating display or as a form of defence against other predators. So, when we look at the figure itself, we can see gorgeous range of motion right off the bat here. This joint in the middle really does allow some great posability, and the figure itself is packed full of really, really gorgeous detail. If we bring it a bit closer to the camera, you can see that eye there and that beak is gorgeous. This is some of the best paintwork I think I've seen on a Mattel figure. The eye paint looks great, the darker beak contrasts well with the brown underside. It just all looks really, really spot on for this dinosaur. Now you can see we do have a little bit of paint chip just there on the horn uh, or the spike even but not too much to grumble about. And you can see on the other side, again, that absolutely beautiful paintwork that makes this animal look really, really gorgeous. And I like how the striping feels consistent along the body here, going down. It all looks very, very good. I think the colour red here, chosen, or p almost pink in some regards, is really, really good. Uh, you can see it does get lighter towards the front. Um, Probably because this is cast in plastic, whereas this is painted, but it still looks good. Um, and in terms of range of motion in that head as well, if we just get that back in focus, you can see we can swivel, we can look up a bit, we can look down a bit, and that is exasperated by further articulation at the neck joint there as well. So it looks really, really good. Moving into the figure's body and back, you can see Gorgeous, gorgeous sculpting for the bumps and uh, kind of engravings in this animal's armour. Again, very, very similar to the Ankylosaurus. I presume that Sora Pelter is an Ankylosauridae, which is the same genus as the Ankylosaurus. 
and it becomes very apparent when you look at this figure its tail again with the tiered design here quite similar to the ankylosaurus but with no club on the end now i do like the additional red highlights throughout this figure as well you can see some lovely little red paintwork here and that does continue onto the figure's underside and you can see again those red highlights continue on the legs as well and look absolutely fantastic really really great texturing throughout the legs as well you can see lots of kind of musculature if we can get that to focus there lots of musculature lots of texture to make this feel like a dynamic living moving animal and again great paint work just there so obviously the animal is four-legged as you can see it is a quadruped you can see we have got if we can get that to focus nice detail on the hands uh, or on the feet even the jurassic world logo on one foot and the dino fax app logo if we can get that to focus just there as well all of which looks really really good not too much detail on the underbelly some slight sculpting to simulate creases and things but again the main focus being that mid joint there so in terms of articulation the legs can come out and go in i would warn you that this paint may scuff so maybe be careful with that but you can rotate forward and back as well and with the rear legs or the hind legs even it's very much the same goes in and out slightly and can come forward and back and then same for the tail which can swing in and out but the tail is part of the play feature so the reason that this animal has got such a kind of loose body is the idea that you can twist it so as you twist the head it kind of twists the tail the other direction uh, so it kind of gives you that ability to do sort of like a striking motion with this figure doesn't work too well in practice but it's a nice idea and I think that this is just generally speaking a really nice smaller scale herbivore for kids to get their hands on um, so with all of that said I think we are going to wrap our look at this dinosaur there all in all the Sora Pelter is a gorgeous figure and I am really really grateful to Dusty and Ezra for making me able to take a look at this and able to add it to my collection I do think it is a shame um, Mattel's distribution in this particular quarter even before the current COVID-19 outbreak has not been very good and because of that figures like the Savage Strike line have not been showing up and have been going for uh, really really exuberant prices on the aftermarket so figures like the Sora Pelta most fans are unlikely to come across them and I do think that that is a shame because this is arguably one of the stronger additions to the smaller price point lines so far so I do hope that moving forward Mattel address this and they make sure that more fans have the opportunity to get toys which they want like this great figure but with all that said and done the designers and the people who worked on this toy have done a phenomenal job and I cannot express just how much I love the Sora Pelter here so I do hope you have enjoyed this review here on Jurassic Collectibles do let us know what you thought on social media you will find all the links in the description below and stay tuned for many many more videos here as we approach Jurassic World Dominion take care guys and have a good week